In this episode of The Grinding Chronicles, we're going to talk about coolant applications and the correct placement of coolant lines. Optimizing your coolant applications can decrease cycle times, reduce wheel wear, and prevent burn. You already know that it's important to reduce heat in the grind. What you might not know is that there are several ways to do that. Welcome to The Grinding Chronicles, presented by CDT Application Engineer, who we call the Time-Saving Dynamo, also known as Blue Conrad. Hi, I'm Blue Conrad, Application Engineer here at CDT. Today we're going to talk about some of the key considerations in cooling, velocity, flow, line placement, and temperature. It is very important that your coolant is spraying the right velocity which should be between 70 and 100% of your grinding wheel speed. The reason is this, as the grinding wheel spins, it creates an air barrier around the perimeter of the wheel. To penetrate that barrier and ensure the coolant is delivered to the grinding zone, the coolant stream needs to travel at the right velocity. If it isn't traveling quickly enough, the wheel simply blows the coolant away. If it is traveling too quickly, it makes the contact with the grinding wheel and bounces back off. In either case, the coolant isn't effectively delivered to the grinding zone where you need it to go. But it isn't just the speed at which the coolant travels, it's also the amount of coolant coming out of the coolant line. This is called the flow rate, and it works hand in hand with velocity. In grinding, you generally have either low pressure and high flow, or high pressure and low flow, but this is a balancing act as well. If the flow rate is too low, you will not have enough fluid to sufficiently cool the grinding process. If the flow rate is too high, you are wasting coolant, which is inefficient. The simplest way to optimize velocity and flow is by using nozzles. For many grinding applications, standard jet nozzles are sufficient. However, grinding wheels come in different shapes. Some are flat, for example, while others have a radius profile. In many cases, it is more effective to utilize nozzles and coolant lines that have been engineered, designed, and tuned for specific wheel types. This will ensure the coolant is being delivered at the appropriate velocity and flow, but also in the appropriate position. The position and direction of the coolant are critical factors as well. You want your jet to spray just for the point of contact where the wheel and workpiece are touching, and the coolant needs to be flowing with the direction of the grinding wheel rotation. If the coolant is hitting too far above or behind the point of grind, it will not effectively enter the grind zone to cool the process. Another type of nozzle that influences grinding performance is the scrubber nozzle. This doesn't take the place of your jet nozzle at the point of grind, rather it is a second high pressure nozzle used to clean the wheels during the grinding process. Location of the scrubber nozzle is generally best as normal to the surface with a standoff distance of approximately 50 millimeters and located just before the main grind nozzle. This nozzle helps keep the wheel pores and abrasive free from swarf or debris. Finally, let's talk about temperature. It's absolutely critical to remove heat during the grind. If you don't have a chiller on your coolant system, the oil gets hotter and hotter as you grind. After hours of use, you're essentially using hot oil to try and remove heat from the grind zone, and that doesn't work well. The point of a coolant system is to stabilize the temperature of the machine, the spindle, the wheel, and the parts so you don't get fluctuations in your dimensions, which is especially important in precision grinding. If you have concerns about your coolant applications or if you need help optimizing your grinding process, we'd love to help. To reach out, send us an email at thegrindingchronicles at cdtusa.net. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like, follow, and subscribe button and get ready to learn something new in another episode from Continental Diamond Tools.